Hi there Year 9s, and welcome to another video from Mr Hegarty on adding fractions. Um, please write the title Adding Fractions and the Learning Objective and write Classwork and Today's Date in your box. Um, in this particular lesson we're continuing with the, uh, our work on adding fractions and we uh, add fractions with different denominators and we're going up to level 6 in this lesson. Please copy the three examples I'm about to do and then there are nine questions for you to attempt. If you show your full workings in those nine questions and I come around and mark them, then that is sufficient for uh, the first part of the lesson. Okay, so to introduce you to the idea we're doing today, uh, I'll show you uh, a question. What is one half plus one third? What's one half plus one third? Now you'll remember from a video I did previously, that's like saying one lot of half plus one lot of third. It's like adding pounds and euros. You can't combine them until they both have the same units. So we've got a problem here. The answer is certainly not okay, to add the tops and get two and to add the bottoms and get five. That is certainly not the answer. What we need to do is make both the bottom the denominator is the same before we can add them. So here's a picture below, one half plus one third. Just to show you what the answer roughly will be, obviously a half plus a third, if I add these together, then we're going to get something that's less than one. We're going to get this answer here. So that's the answer we're looking to get. It's going to be less than one. So a half plus a third. Now, the idea behind this is to convert them to the same unit. If we converted them to sixths, let's have a look what a half would be. How many sixths would a half be? If we split this up into six, this unit here, so into six there, and we split this up into six, here, the question suddenly becomes, well, how many six have we got here? Well, we've got three six. So this is actually turns out to be three six. And how many six do we have here? Two six. And we're adding these together, and three six plus two six is equal to five six. And we can clearly see that if we stuck that in here, we would have one, two, three, four, five out of the six. Okay, so five six. That would be our final answer. So that's the idea of what we're doing, and this is how we're going to do it. Copy this example, example one. One half plus one third. We are going to convert them to, so they have the same number in the bottom. The way we're going to decide that is we're going to use equivalent fractions. The first fraction is a half. We're going to continually add whatever's on the top to itself. We're going to add one to the top each time and on the bottom add two each time to generate some equivalent fractions. So adding one, I'll get two and adding 2 I would get 4 and continue add 1 and I would get 3 and continue add 2 on the bottom and I would get 6 and keep, keep doing that and similarly do that with a third so add 1 to the top and you get 2 and add 3 to the bottom and you would get 6 now when the bottom numbers are the same when you found fractions where the bottoms are the same 3, 6 and, and 2, 6, you replace them in the original question. So this question, a half, is the same as 3, 6. So we can write 3, 6 there. And a third is the same as 2, 6. So we replace them. And then we can do the question because the bottom numbers, the denominators are the same. 3, 6 plus 2, 6 is equal to 5, 6. Check if you can simplify. Uh, there's nothing that divides into 5 and 6 other than 1, so that's as simple as this fraction is. There's your answer. Example 2. Please copy this example down. 1 fifth plus 1 quarter. We can't add them until the bottom numbers are the same. So what we're going to do is over here we're going to write a fifth and we're going to write a quarter. And what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 to the top each time up here and five on the bottom each time. And we're going to add one on the top here and four on the bottom. We're going to stop when we have the bottom numbers the same. So 
Uh, let's do this in a different color pen. This would be two tenths. This here would be two eighths. The bottoms aren't the same, no good. This here would be three fifteenths. This here would be three add four twelfths. Bottoms aren't the same, no good. Add one on top, four. Add five on bottom, twentieths. Add one on top here, uh, four. And add four on bottom here, sixteenths. They're still not the same. Add one on top here, five. And add five on bottom here, 25. Um, and here, add another one on top and get five. Add four on bottom, get 20. Now look, we have found two with the same bottom. This one here, four twentieths plus five twentieths. We have a 20 on the bottom each time, so we stop. Replace one fifth by four twentieths, because one fifth equals four twentieths. And replace one quarter by five twentieths. Okay, four twentieths plus five twentieths is equal to nine twentieths. And think, can you simplify this? Can you think of anything that goes into nine and twenty other than one? No, so you have the correct answer. Last example, example three, one seventh plus one eighth. The bottom numbers are different, so we can't add them as they stand. So let's write one seventh here. 1 eighth here, keep adding 1 to the top of 1 seventh and 7 to the bottom of 1 seventh, 1 to the top of 1 eighth and 8 to the bottom of 1 eighth until you get the same number, the same on the bottom and top, uh, the same number, the same on the bottom for each of these. So in a different colour pen, I'm going to add 1, add 7, get 2 fourteenths. Add 1, add 7, I'm going to get 3 twenty firsts. Add 1, add 7, <coughs> I'm going to get 4 twenty eighths. Add 1, add 7, and then we get 5 35ths. Add 1, add 7, add 1, add 7, and add 1, and add 7. Okay, so uh, I should be doing that on the bottom at the same time. Add 1, add 7, I get 2 16, uh, and 8, 2 16 Add 1, add 8, add 1. Add eight, add one, add eight, add one, add eight, add one, add eight. Oh look, the bottom numbers are now the same. They're both over 56. Okay, they weren't the same anywhere apart from here at 56. So replace one seventh by eight fifty-six. Replace 1 eighth by 7.56. Now we can add them. 8.56 plus 7.56 is equal to 15.56. Uh, can you think of anything that divides into 15 and 56? No, I can't. So that is the final answer. Okay, so with these, it's very important to lay your workings out uh, off at the side here. Um, and I've got nine questions for you to try. That's it for this lesson. But the questions are quite involved. They take quite a lot of working. That's why there's only nine. So here are your questions. Work through these nine uh, with full solutions. Um, and uh, when you're done, call me over and I'll mark them. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful in your work.